as now we're seeing Team Unique going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Loops once again, who are in a bit of a rough spot. It's all about Dadeen right now, as Becker is getting eliminated. Beautiful grenades being thrown in from Unique. They had that solid rotation. We've complimented it a few times, but it is they've been able to manage this so well. But Alpha Legends up on the top of the hill, all four members alive. This is looking like their game right now, Cameron. Ooh, a lot of damage on the Cloud9. Can't quite get that knock, but immediately Kyro doesn't stick and commit. He says, hey, let's go, let's go take care of the people on the south. We have rats all around us, and we're the exterminators. They can't get a full knock just yet, but they're staying alive, and I like Remen off on the backside, too. They're playing this as a 3-1, just to make sure that no one is sneaking up behind them, because they're slowly having to climb down the mountain, and height advantage, even one lone player, could spray down a lot of them if they're not prepared. Yeah, and they have eyes on wildcard now. Rayman, being that scout, like you mentioned, have that ex has that info, and there's Loops finally out, but they did such a fantastic yeah. job surviving all the way to fifth place. That was so impressive, and it's not like it was snaking either. They were taking fights. And speaking of taking fights, taking the fight to Cloud9 right now is Alpha Legends, and really, this just feels like the raid boss at the end of the dungeon. This is Alpha Legends in such a great position right now. They have free reign, or I should say they should have free reign, except the fact that they're just losing their battles up against Unique. Wait, no! Oh my goodness! And this is the go button. If you're unique, you say, all right, we've got our downs. We've got our opportunity. Let's go. Let's make this happen. And Kato is basically the last man standing right now. I cannot believe it. They got all three members down on the side of Alpha Legends. What just happened, Cameron? This is now suddenly Unique's game. How, how did they do that? I, I, my only guess is that they just had no clue that Unique were there. We're so focused in on Cloud9, and especially once they took care of Loops. But they just get eliminated as fast as they eliminated Tempo Storm. And now Unique are on the high ground. They... They basically allowed Alpha Legends to be the big, loud, the, the loud line taking all of the attention. And the second they found an opportunity, the second Alpha Legends peaked just a little bit too far, they take full advantage. Three knocks in the span of like two or three seconds. There's nothing that Alpha Legends can do at that time. But Adder taken down by Acer, and Acer's trying to contest. He's able to climb up on the top of the high ground with the rest of Wildcard not too far behind. But let's see if this grenade can get a first opening knock. All four That's members good. of Wild Card oh. still alive. Nice. Oh, a little bit of chip damage. Finds the angle. Ooh, Acer. One or two bullets there. That could have been the difference. But C9 is here. So you have all three teams up. Three or four members on every single one of these squads. I cannot believe how good of a job they've been able to do of keeping all these team members alive. As the blue is at their backs. If you're team unique, able to get the shots down on Bayo. Of course, the shot caller for C9 in a bad spot. He's the one sort of out there, but Unique is going to opt to just hard flank now. They've got to rotate towards this circle, which is favoring wildcards so much right now, and they're just letting this play out. They're letting C9 and Unique go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Wildcard are just going to play spoiler. Actually, C9 are quite safe at this point, because they're so far in the low ground. If either team peaks them, if wildcard peak, Unique can shoot at them. If Unique peak, wildcard can shoot at them. <laughs> it's... They're actually quite safe for a little bit. I've seen it play out successfully for the team in this position a couple of times before. I think they do end up losing Bayo and all that, though. So it is only two of them left standing, and that's one down for Unique. Good team shooting by Wildcard. Able to identify the members down. They are going to be able to get them back up, though. Lightning is there. But oh my goodness, Cameron, we have not seen a circle like... Oh! Ooh. Oh, that was the vehicle explosion. Yep. You got to blow up those vehicles when you're in that position. You absolutely that was have to for that reason alone. That was something they just completely missed. At least there's one member remaining that from Cloud9 who can hope that Wildcard or Unique go out first. But actually, now that he's a solo player, it gets a lot more difficult. He's sitting next to a vehicle that's not destroyed. Oh, boy. Nine kills, seven knockdowns. Team Unique has been looking so solid over the course of this game. They've been taking smart fights. And that's, I think, the big difference here. That This is the team as well. Five kills for a wild card. They, they, they didn't, you know, fight every single team they passed on the road. They were smart with the engagements that they took. They, they tried to take four-on-four four fights where they could just identify who they're fighting, limit their angles, get the kills. And now, both of these teams are in a really good spot. Pyra, though, could be the spanner in the works. But both of these teams have players that know he's down there. This could get interesting. I'm, Do they know he's down there? sure about that. So Unique should know that there's one player left because they only have three up and Wildcard can't have more than four. Wildcard, if they weren't paying attention to the kill feed uh, enough, because there's a lot of chaos that happens sometimes, if they didn't recognize that Unique lost a player, they might think that it's 4v4. Maybe. We don't know the information that they know. It's a lot, but Nemphis forced out in front. He gets taken out. Unique need to find something. 
Yeah, they need to try and get one back because Memphis is getting just, he's just going down. That's just going to be it. And now a 4v2, v1 situation for wildcard. They just got this ridge line and they've been controlling it beautifully, hitting those shots. And that's another one going down and they're just trying to survive through the blue and now it's pyra neither one of these teams wanted to make a stand here and that is going to be it wildcard playing it slow and steady but